With the recent outbreak of the virus, there are fears of more cases being detected in the country and globally. Arise correspondent Benny Ark tells us more. On the 7th of May, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, was notified by the United Kingdom International Health Regulations of a case of monkeypox detected in a patient with recent travel history to Nigeria. The individual is a UK resident who arrived to Nigeria on April 20, traveled to Lagos and Delta states during the time spent in Nigeria, and departed Lagos on the 3rd of May, arriving in the UK the following day. While in Nigeria, the case did not report being in contact with anyone with symptoms of monkeypox or other illness with rash. The diagnosis of monkeypox was confirmed in the UK on the 6th of May. The biggest challenge that you have with a disease such as monkeypox is that it's uncommon uh, and the perceived risk of, uh, by the population and by people about how dangerous this condition is has been very low. So we know that there might be quite a bit of under-reporting of uh, monkeypox in the country. Since the reemergence of monkeypox in Nigeria in September 2017, the country has continued to record sporadic cases of the disease from states across the country. Between September 2017 and April 2020, a total of 558 cases and 8 deaths have been confirmed from 22 states, with the highest number of cases being reported from states in the south-south region of Nigeria. Since 2017 and maybe I think up to, uh, depending on where the cutoff for the reports is, we've, we've had, I think it's 558 cases of uh, monkeypox uh, and less than 10% of those um, have died. So in general, um, what is described for monkeypox is that one in nine or one, in, it's otherwise a mild disease that is associated with recovery, but in one out of 10 or one out of nine cases, uh, there might be severe illness and this may lead um, to death. As at Sunday, May 29, the NCDC said a total of 21 confirmed cases with one death had been reported from nine states of the country and the Federal Capital Territory. The agency explained that the deceased was a 40-year-old patient who had underlying comorbidity and was on immunosuppressive medications. It said genomic surveillance was ongoing at NCDC's National Reference Laboratory in Abuja. And so far, all of the cases were confirmed to be caused by West African clade monkeypox virus. Monkeypox, again, is of particular interest because obviously it's a, a close relative of the smallpox virus, which was a really dangerous pathogen for um, populations in the world before it was eliminated by um, vaccination. So the same surveillance we have in place for other diseases is what we have for, um, uh, for monkeypox. Since the outbreak of the monkeypox virus, there have been fears and concerns over another possible pandemic as more cases have been detected globally. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has activated an emergency operations center to respond to the virus. Benny Ark. Arise News. Well, let's uh, bring in infectious disease specialist, Dr. Joseph Onigmide. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on Newsnight. Let me begin by asking you the same question I tried to uh, direct uh, to uh, uh, Professor Yewale, but of course we lost connection with him. Russia has accused uh, the U.S. of setting up labs in Nigeria where this monkeypox is spreading. Mentioned Abuja, uh, of course uh, Lagos and Zaria. What should we make of this information coming from Russia? How serious is it? Well, I am, uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, I do want to double into such a political question. As we are, we are concerned, monkeypox is uh, usually found in this uh, tropical rainforest area. So, and uh, the few cases that you have seen in uh, nations like uh, uh, United States and Canada have uh, been due to people traveling from maybe the, the to that area. So I do, I want to dodge that question. I don't know whether we are, I'm, I'm not aware of any laboratory that we are manufacturing monkey pox in Nigeria. Uh, so that is just left between uh, uh, Putin and, uh, and America. <laughs> All right, uh, Dr. Onik Bide. Uh, we hear that this is supposedly a mild 
disease. Uh, but why are health authorities so worried? We also hear that this has been with us in Nigeria. In the tropics, like you've also said, for a while now. Why do you think it's generating so much concern this time around? Yeah, it should generate concern that uh, uh, since it has been visiting us since 1970, we have it in 1970, 1971. I'm talking of Nigeria, and then 78, and then 2017, up till now. Uh, it should generate concern uh, that we should actually have found a way around it. Uh, number one, maybe if there could have been vaccination of, of, of a sort that can eradicate it, or at least uh, get some uh, preventive measures. So it should, generate that, it should generate concern in the sense that these, the cases seem not to be abating at all.